another Evil Anarchy convention video. Today we're back at Anime Expo, and today is day one of Anime Expo, and this is me walking into the exhibit hall for the very first time. I was absolutely blown away by how big of a presence One Piece had at Anime Expo. It was just everywhere. The hype is real. You know what else was also everywhere was the Crunchyroll booth. They had multiple booths all over. This one had some really cool art on it. You know, Crunchyroll Expo is coming out soon, so they're probably advertising for that. And I was absolutely blown away by the Good Smile Racing booth. They had this amazing Miku car here. Absolutely loved it. There was also this Persona 3 figure that was exclusive to Anime Expo that sold out. And then firm handshakes to everyone in the convention. Dr. Disrespect was here. But now on to the main part of the video. We're heading over to the Toyzilla booth for the Jason Page signing. VHS are $100 here. The ones inside of the capsules are the first ones ever encapsulated. Really? Yep. In ever. Man, so they got, they got to be like, what, like 20 years old? Yep, they're 25 years old. Wow. And those, those are $2,500. How, how'd you get those? Uh, somebody had them and said, hey, we got these, these sealed ones. Do you want to buy them? And I bought them. That's... Then I submitted them for grading. And those were the first two that got graded. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and ungraded in regular box is just $100 with the autograph. That's dope. As well as these things that are brand new items. Brand new items on... <laughs> these have been all over TikTok lately. Have they really? I brought in some today that I know are more rare. Okay. What do you got? In the original boxes. Okay. I have five of them here. This yeah, is like no, a whole no. series on TikTok. No, the Super set funny. is like five, six of them for two fifty, so they're like fifty dollars a piece. All right, around that, forty, fifty dollars a piece. That is pretty awesome. Um, you are missing the Pikachu, but we probably end up selling those five for about one hundred and fifty. A um, hundred and fifty, dude. These have got to be at least a thousand dollars. Look at them; they're all new. But autograph, they're a hundred. I have no idea what you're talking about because these things are freaking rare. So I'm gonna take them somewhere else. I'm Nick, by the way. Jason, nice to meet you, sir. I come in from a lot of David's stuff. And oh, cool, cool. I'm at his uh, swap meet all the time. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. Is it really my animation studio? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I went nice. to school, excellent, got, excellent. you know. Really talented. How much is it to spin the wheel? Oh, that, okay, so that's... That's a hip. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> a little pop swap lucky draw. It's, you get one pop for uh, 22 for three or four for 40. Pick numbers, we open the boxes, you see what's inside. If there's nothing, oh. that's when you spin the wheel. And that's where you could win like inside. Yeah, this is all cool, man. Yeah, multiple levels of stuff. I usually simplify, but I figured David's got a thousand products, I should have at least 30. This this is his biggest booth yet. Like I I don't think I've seen one like at any con that he's had so far as big as this. Yeah, no, it's usually just like prints and stuff. Like this is some next level, but it's really awesome. I'm really big it. Yeah, I'm loving it. He's right next to Hollow Life too, which has got to yeah. be a big help. Oh, I can't believe those are the first ones I've I've never seen anything like Yeah, yeah, I want to. Yeah, yeah. Let me get close to this. Those are the first Jason Page cards first encapsulated. encapsulated. The D-Spirits card in the center is three grand. Wow, oh, that's no way. crazy. Because that's an actual playing game with the Jason Page card in the game. Yeah. So this one right here, this one? Hello, hello. That one right there, yeah. I still can't believe this card was $3,000 and that these VHS were $1,500. That is just crazy to me. It just goes to show how much a signature can increase like the worth of a product. You know, as surreal as this moment was, I was still completely blown away by the helper they had around, who I swear to God looked like Filthy Frank. I couldn't get it out of my head. It was very distracting. But anyway, coming back on the final day of Anime Expo, day four, walking past the Hollow Live booth. This, you know, this was such a great location in general. There was lots of wall space to be able to chill and sit down. And a lot of the times when I'm filming this footage, I'm just chilling on the side of the wall, just relaxing, because it is a trek to get from like hall to hall. Like it is like a 30 minute like adventure. 
But uh, this place was really cool because there was even like a little food booth over here and I was able to get like drinks and uh, a pretzel. I actually brought the pretzel home with me because I was not able to finish it. And as you can see, people lining up for the Jason Page signing. Um, it's pretty crazy. He like does a little singathon. But I'm gonna let this play out like more like uh, like a vlog style. Let me know what you guys think of this type of video in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. They start shilling the Funko Pops right now. 
25 lyrics to 25 Funkos. That's a really cool idea. And it's a nice con exclusive to get like a signed Funko. That's one reason I like Funkos is that, you know, they're not as much as like a normal figure, but you still can get them signed by people. And a signed Funko can actually go a long ways. Be sure to check out some of my other videos at Toyzilla, especially the one where I check out the $1,000 Funko Pop. I still can't believe how much that thing cost. It was absolutely blowing me away. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this Jason Page Toyzilla signing. I thought this was a really fun event. I've not really seen something like as outgoing as this at other events. Sometimes you'll see people like doing like really good crowd work, but Jason Page is definitely a crowd work master. Him and David are definitely showmanship first. I really like that. I really appreciate that. But unfortunately, that means it's the end of today's video. So I'm going to have to leave you there. This has been Evil Anarchy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye